hello students uh, in this video we'll be talking about this kvl and kcl kirchhoff's voltage law and kirchhoff's current law so let's start with kvl kirchhoff's voltage law according to it algebraic sum of potential differences in a closed loop is zero this is a consequence of energy conservation whereas kcl which says amount of current entering a junction must be equal to the amount of current leaving that junction. This is a consequence of charge conservation. So these are the two basic laws which will follow to solve any circuit. This is the sign convention for this and uh, just look at this and you can also write the statement I am speaking right now that if we cross a resistance in the direction of current this is the direction in which we are crossing the resistance and this is the direction of current so if they are same then there will be a change in potential which is minus ir means current in the direction of current the potential decreases by ir and if we cross the resistance by opposite to the direction of current see we are moving opposite and the current is in this direction so there will be a change in potential plus ir in other words we can say potential increases by ir and if we crosses a battery from its positive to negative terminal from its positive to negative terminal then there will be change of minus e where e is the emf and similarly if we cross a battery from its positive to negative to positive terminal then it will be plus e the final terminal of the battery decides the polarity and in the direction of current minus ir opposite to the direction of current plus ir do remember these conventions as these are very important in solving the circuits in this question there are two cells of 10 and 20 volt and few resistances as shown in the diagram and uh, we have assumed we have to find the current through all these resistances and cells so we have assumed uh, let the current through this 5 ohm is I1 and the current through this is I2 in the shown directions. We are not sure whether the current is actually in this direction or not, but we have assumed it. So, according to KCL, the amount of current leaving that junction is I1 plus I2. So, the amount of current reaching that junction or entering that junction should be I1 plus I2. So, in this part of the junction is this part of the circuit the current will be i1 plus i2 and in this part it will be i1 in this resistance it will be i2 so this is the diagram i used for kcl so in loop one let's say we are moving in this direction this is the direction you can choose whether you want to move in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction i just chosen an anti-clockwise direction for loop one so starting from a when we move as per this arrow First of all, we jump the battery from its negative to positive terminal, that's why plus 20. As we are moving in the direction of current, it will be minus I, it's the total current in 10 ohm, I into R. And the current in I2, in 10 ohm is I2 now. So minus I2 R. Again, we are crossing the resistance along the direction of current, that's why minus I R. And we reach to point A, so that's why total will be zero. Similarly, in loop 2 I have written it wrong in loop 2 starting from point B then moving in this direction first of all we cross this resistance opposite to the direction of current that's why plus I2 into 10 we are crossing this resistance in the direction of current that's why minus I1 into 5 and we are jumping the battery from its positive to negative terminal that's why minus 10 will give you 0 as we have reached back to point B and from this we can get I1 and I2 by solving these equations. There's another example of KVL and KCL. In the similar circuit, there are three batteries 10, 20, and 30 with the respective polarities and few resistances as shown in the diagram. So, again, I assume that the current in this circuit is I1 and in this circuit is I2 moving in this direction. So, according to the KCL at this junction, I1 plus i2 must enter at this junction so we can just say that we can move in any direction in these loops okay so let's start moving in loop one as 
in the shown direction in loop one we are moving uh, in clockwise direction from a so first of all we encounter the resistance and we are moving in the direction of current through it so minus 5 into i2 as i2 is the current in this resistance and when we and then we encounter a resistance of another 5 ohm in which current i1 plus i2 is flowing and we are crossing it in the direction of current that's why minus 5 into i1 plus i2 we jump the battery from its negative to positive terminal that's why plus 20 and again we crosses the resistance in the direction of current that's why minus 5 into i2 and again we jump a battery from its negative to positive terminal that's why plus 30 we reach back to point a will give you zero we then simplified this equation in this form and we gave it a name equation one similarly in loop two we have chosen to move in this direction this is a clockwise direction so let's start from b and when we move in an anti-clockwise direction in this loop we first encounter a battery in which we are jumping it from negative to positive that's why plus 10 then we are moving opposite to the direction of current current is towards left we are moving anti-clockwise so towards right so it will be plus 5 i1 and again we cross as a battery that's why minus 20 here look at this minus 20 again we are moving opposite to current from 5 ohm this will be plus i1 plus i2 into 5 again we cross as a resistance of 5 ohm opposite to the current that's why plus 5 i1 gives you 0 because we have reached back to point b so again simplifying this equation and we gave it name 2 from these two equations there are just two variables i1 and i2 in both so we can solve i1 and i2 as this one more important thing to be noticed is uh, i1 comes out to be negative so what if a current you have assumed comes out to be negative it means that the magnitude of the current will remain same half in this case but the direction is opposite to what we have actually assumed the actual direction is not this the actual direction of current through this 5 ohm will be towards left so what i have written negative sign of i1 indicates that the actual direction of i1 is opposite to what is assumed in the diagram okay so that's all about kvl and kcl look for the next video which is nodal method